so okay, this tutorial is to align the MSH coding sequence to the plasmid PMSH and annotate the MSH2 gene on the plasmid. So, well, that's the coding sequences. And then I'm going to download the, the plasmid DNA from the Udo site. Yes, so now I have uh, the plasmid DNA and uh, the MSH2 coding sequences. I will uh, align the two sequences. Now before I do alignment, I'm going to double check the coding sequences. The first sequence should be ATG. That's correct, ATG. Uh, the last sequence should be a stop codon. Uh, uh, the stop codon here is TAA. So if uh, if we uh, align the coding uh, stop codon, then the stop codon will also be annotated. So I prefer to remove the stop codon from the alignment. So I'm going to delete TAA. And then I go to tools, align two sequences. So let's the, pick the first one to be plasmid, a second, the bottom one as the coding sequences. And everything is default. So, so this seems to be uh, a good alignment. Yeah. So, uh, so that's the ATG. Let's start here. ATG actually, uh, we need to find out the position of the first nucleotide A. So this is 3400. That's uh, 3390, that's 3380, so that would be 3379, and this would be 3378. So I will write this down on a piece of paper. 3378 is the position of the start coda. And then I scroll down to find where the stop to find where the stop codon is. And in this case it's here. So this uh, is 6302, that's the last uh, position, nucleotide position of the last amino acid. So so I'm going to the sequences, uh, window plasmid sequences, and then choose select, select from 2, and from is 3378, and 2 is 6, uh, 302. Is that right? Uh, actually, let me double check. Uh, that's correct. 3378 to 6302. Okay. And get back there. Now, this will be a new feature. Feature, new feature. And this is wild type MSH2. And the feature type, this is the genes coding sequences. And I'm also going to pick color. Uh, let's pick uh, uh, red. Okay. Okay. And there are also many other features on this plasmid, so we can choose all the features. This will be annotated feature using library. And this this function, this menu actually uh, seems to change from different version, but uh, there will be similar one in different versions. So now uh, we can make sure this is circular and go to enzyme, graphic map, and we should see a graphic uh, presentation of the plasmid. So this is basically what we call a plasmid map. And uh, this is the MSH2 gene we just annotated. It starts from 3378 to 6302. And this plasmid also has uh, some other genes, including the ampicillin marker, uh, E. coli replication origin. Uh, that seems to be the lac, lac Z gene. Uh, okay. 